welcome to the studio. Artist Doug Pixel here, and today I'm gonna talk about, yes, the Corona Blues. And uh, give you a little update what I've been doing since I've been kind of uncreative uh, lately. And I will do this and how I'm getting out of this funk that I'm in. Uh, so let's do some painting while I do this. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. Welcome. Welcome to the voiceover. Today, let's just start, start off by what I'm painting. So I'm painting today one of my hipster king, hipster queen in this case, paintings on coasters, the oil on coaster like I said, and, <clears throat> and it is an attempt to get over this funk I've been in since I shut down. Done a little drawing, a little uh, writing, uh, but nothing real significant. And um, obviously I haven't made any videos for a long time either. So, I'm a person who loves to go out, loves to be active. I work hard, I try to play hard. Um, <clears throat> not hard like crazy or anything, but you know, I like my happy hours. I like to go out and socialize with the people I know and friends and, and go out, have lovely happy hours and, and meals and stuff. And obviously in Minnesota, we've been shut down since I think St. Patty's Day, something like that. And um, I'm going to say it's fine because I'm... I'm definitely an introvert, too, so um, it's kind of a weird dichotomy with me on that. But here, being forced to stay in has kind of made me a little edgy, a little, a little down, maybe even a little depressed on occasion. I'm not really a depressive person or anything like that, but. It definitely is and has gotten to me. Um, instead of doing mental work of creating art and the like, I've decided that I would be a little more physical after my day job, which I'm doing in my studio. So there's that. Um, it's hard to be in the studio, working, working, and then being in the studio, working creatively at the same time. So I might have to change up where I go, but I painted it. Probably can't quite tell, um, but it's a lot darker. It's a dark green. It's beautiful. I love being in the space now. I just finished that last weekend when we had a rainy weekend. And I was a part of the changing of environment that I needed in the studio to feel more comfortable needing to be in here. Uh, the fiance, she tends to pop in now and just sit and hang out in the studio too because it's such a nice, nice feel in here. The last couple of days to get myself out of this funk, it's a, a mental thing, you know, partially. Let me step back for a second. So, doing a lot of physical stuff outside, um, mainly working in the yard, moving moving plants where we want them instead of where they were when we first bought the house, and all the gardens we we put in an additional garden and got them all planted. We're actually starting to pull some stuff out of the garden to actually use already. It's not even June. So we definitely worked really hard and physical on that. 
With that said, I'm ready to get back into creating and working in, on the creative side. And uh, how am I doing this? Again, change of environment. I moved everything around in the studio. The other thing I've been doing, i um, been starting to write again in my handy dandy journaly thing. It's kind of on the lines of morning pages, but not really. If you don't know what morning pages are, just Google it, you'll find a billion references to it. Some of these are just me babbling about what I need to do, and some of them are poetry slash drawings, and you know, just random. This helps get the juices flowing out of your brain, even if you talk nonsense for a page or two, something will eventually give away. So I recommend doing that. Finishing up this sketchbook. Almost there, got, got a couple drawings left, but I've been trying to at least at least do little bits and pieces of uh, drawings every day in the sketchbook to finish it so I can start ta-da, a new one. And it's just to get ideas down or just move the pen, pencil, whatever I'm using around. Sometimes my best ideas come from just randomly doodling. That is how the Hipster King series actually started. Um, for these little goofy, goofy drawings like this. They're not good drawings, but they're, they're fun, they're goofy. This painting that I'm doing now, uh, obviously, is a way to just get, get moving again. I even have a commission I'm working on. I've got a video coming on that in a little bit. Still life is shoved back in that corner there. Probably can't see it, it's pretty dark. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I'm hoping to just get back creative. I hope you are being creative too. Let me know what you're doing to help you get back into a creative groove when you've been in a funk. So I'm really interested in that. What gets you going? How, how do you feel when you move back into what you love to do when you've been away for a while. Um, other than that, I hope you uh, give this a thumbs up and or a uh, 